Well, hello, fellow constitutionalists, and welcome to the Dan Clements Show, a Christian political talk show. I'm your host, Dan Clements, your constitutional warrior fighting for your right just to be an American. We are a hyphen free, PC free zone, and God is still in control, and He does love you. And I am recording this in the Hemlock Studios here in the beautiful central Susquehanna Valley in the great Keystone State. And today we're going to be talking about uh, stopping California's COVID misinformation law. And I came across this article, and I thought this was great. This, this is actually showing uh, exactly what um, can be done when you push back against the government. And this is something that needs to be done. From, from the local level, you know, to your, your city dog catcher, to your school boards, to your county level, and to your state level, and then your federal level. Now in California, they're they're passing this uh, uh, law about uh, it's called the COVID misinformation law, where if the the government if they deem that you are misinforming people about COVID, the vaccine stuff like this, you can be fined and or and or jailed. Uh, is my understanding of the law uh, as far as the consequences of the law, um, and it's folks it. It's amazing what these politicians get away with, but it's also amazing what citizens who band together and form some groups, how much work they can get done and push back against some of this nonsense. So again, this, this, this whole thing with Gavin Newsom and, and the, the liberals, the leftists in this country trying to make laws to outlaw free speech. This is nothing more than free speech, folks. It really is. This is nothing more than attack on, on free speech, no matter what level of government it is. Because if you go against the narrative of the government, then they consider that to be misinformation. And that's what this law is geared to. Now, in the, in the law itself, in the ruling, a, a Judge William B. Sh, uh, Snub of the U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of California found plaintiffs had standing to challenge the law uh, that was um, the challenge law and that contemporary scientific cons- consensus lacks an established meaning within the medical uh, community because the term scientific consensus is so ill-defined and vague in the law now. Uh, the plaintiffs in the lawsuit are unable to determine if their intended conduct contradicts the scientific consensus and accordingly what is prohibited by law, and this is what the judge wrote. And I found this, uh, I found this very interesting. The judge would find for this. Now it goes on to say, now this is the plaintiff uh, in, in the case, uh, Dr. Aaron uh, Kirati, broke the news of the ruling uh, in a series of tweets. Now this happened on uh, January 26, just a few days ago. Uh, judge just granted our request for a preliminary injunction against AB 2098, the gag order on physicians in California in our Hogue v. Newsom lawsuit. This effectively halts the implementation of the terrible law while our case is being tried. The ruling blocks or bodes well for the cause. Uh, It indicates that our arguments that this law is unconstitutional, having a strong pretrial facial uh, plausibility or facial plausibility, not to get ahead of ourselves, of course, or try to predict the final outcome of the case, but this is very positive development. And it absolutely is. It's a very positive development. But during the case, (laughs) something happened. And I thought this was very, very interesting. Um, The defense... Uh, during the oral arguments, the defense counsel declined to explain what specific conduct the law may prohibit, and the statute itself provides no clarity on the on the term's meaning, leaving open multiple important questions. The ruling states. So the defense, the people that were standing in for Newsom, the lawyers trying to defend this law. They couldn't even clarify anything, the terms meaning or anything. I thought this was very, very interesting. You would think 
that they would come in with all the answers to all these, but they felt, and, and this is just my own personal opinion here, Ami says, they felt that uh, maybe uh, this was just going to be thrown out because the plaintiffs uh, would not have had standing. Now, there's this group called the New Civil Liberties Alliance, NCLA. They argued the term contemporary scientific consensus is undefined in the law and undefinable as a matter of logic, which I happen to agree with them. No one can know at any given time the consensus of doctors and scientists on various matters related to the prevention and treatment of COVID-19. The NCLA said in a statement, Judge Shubb agreed with the analysis stating COVID-19 is such a new and evolving area of scientific study, it may be hard to determine which scientific consensus are false at a given point in time. And what I find interesting here is the NCLA, I think they hit the head on the nail when they said that the contemporary scientific consensus is undefined in the law and undefinable as a matter of logic. And folks, I just want to say this here. If you can't question the science, then it's not science, it's propaganda. And that's exactly what it is. Now, the NCLA goes on to say the very concept of scientific consensus is problematic and represents a misunderstanding of the scientific process. The act is a blatant attempt to silence doctors who views, though based on thorough scientific research, deviate from the government-approved party line, said Dr. Uh, Greg Dolan, Senior uh, Litigation Counsel for the NCLA. At no point has the state of California been able to articulate the line between permissible and impermissible speech, further illustrating how problematic the statute is. NCLA is pleased the court recognized all the problems with AB 2098 and enjoined this unconstitutional law, which means they're, they they put an injunction against it. They're not allowing it to, to go ahead. Now, whether whether they're going to iron some things out on this or not, I, I honestly, I don't know uh, if that's going to be the case. But I thought, I thought, good. You know, California's trying to pass these laws, and there's, there's an old saying, as California goes, so goes the nation. And this was so ambiguous. And again, the... To define scientific consensus defies logic. Because as we go through, they, they told us that at the beginning of this pandemic, you know, that, that especially with the vaccine, well, it's going to stop transmission. We'll come to find out it didn't stop transmission. Well, then they said, well, it'll, it'll uh, uh, protect you from getting really sick. Well, it didn't protect you from getting really sick. Uh, it didn't stop the virus at all. Uh, matter of fact, it's actually it seems to be creating more problems than it's solving. So how can you how can you build a, a, a consensus on false information? You can't. And in, in my and this is just my humble opinion. Um, I study the Bible with folks, and I get into some uh, biblical studies with folks, and we talk about commandments in the Bible. Let's just take that for, for an instance, and they'll say, well. It only says it once in the Bible about this particular subject, and I won't get into any particular subjects, but you know, just pick a subject. It only says it once, or it may only say it twice. You know, how come not every book in the New Testament has this same command? And my comeback to them is, well, if God said it once, that should be enough. If someone, if a doctor questions the science and he can back up why he's questioning it with rock solid evidence and scientific through the scientific method, we should need more than one doctor to put a hold to any consensus. And that's been the problem in America with free speech when it comes to uh, climate change. Science is settled. You can't question it. No, if you can't question science, it's propaganda. Same way the pandemic, same way with where did the virus come from? You know, did it come from a lab? Did it come from wet market? Science is settled, you can't question it. And again, if, it's, if you say science is settled, it's not science, it's propaganda. 
So score one for the good guys. Now, this isn't over with. I'll, I'll try to keep up with this. This isn't over with. But like I said, score one for the good guys. You know, they, they pushed back and they actually won in court. And, and I'm glad they did so. This has been the Dan Clemens Show. I'm your host, Dan Clemens, your constitutional warrior. Remember, if you aim at nothing, you'll hit it every time. And we'll see you on the next video.